Jesters. Hazard level A, they're indestructible, they will insta-kill you, have a power level of 3, and are most commonly found on Rend. Jesters have four phases, roaming, following, cranking, and run for your life. When a jester first spawns, it immediately enters its roaming phase, which at first looks random, but there is actually a pattern behind this. In this clip, you can see little gray spheres placed all over the floor. These are called nodes, and it's what jesters use to explore. As you can see, nodes are placed throughout the entire map. Pretty much anywhere that you can walk to, there will be nodes. Here's a bird's eye view of experimentation. You can see the jester walking around highlighted in red. Right when a jester spawns, it will target a node pretty much right by where it spawns. In this clip, you can see the jester's targeted node is highlighted in yellow. The jester will walk towards that node. Once it gets close enough, it will target to a different node, begin walking towards that node, and once it gets close enough, it'll retarget to a different node, and it will continue doing this over and over and over. You can think of nodes as checkpoints. Once a jester has explored a node, it pretty much checks it off and will not target that node again unless phase one is reset. Jesters have a search precision of five meters. All that means is that any nodes within five meters of its targeted node will also be checked off. In this clip, green nodes are nodes that the jester has already checked off. The jester is about to retarget to this node here. Any other nodes within five meters of that node will also be checked off. So if we hit play, every node within that five meters should turn green as soon as he targets. This distance is also how far the jester must be from the node in order to check it off. You can see this is the targeted node. As soon as the jester is five meters away from it, it will check it off. The jester doesn't randomly choose a node. There's actually a pattern behind it. In this clip, the yellow node is its current target and the blue one is its following target. Once a jester checks off a node, the closest node to the one it just checked off will be its following node. In this example, this is the jester's current target. As soon as it checks it off, it will retarget to this node because it is the closest node to the one it just checked off. As we can see, the jester will do the same thing on the other side. As soon as it checks off its current target, it will then retarget to this node because it's the closest one to the node it just checked off. Hoarding bugs, thumpers, and coil heads use the same function, so all three of those enemies will roam the same exact way. The only difference will be their search precision. Huge shout out to Addy from my Discord for creating a mod that allowed us to see nodes and the way Jester's path to them. All of Addy's links will be down in the description. Go check those out. Once a Jester spots you, it will enter its following phase. Jesters have the same field of view as you. In order for a jester to spot a player, the player must be within its field of view, and the jester must be able to draw a straight line from itself to the player's head without any obstruction. Basically, as soon as a jester looks at you, it sees you. As soon as this phase is triggered, the jester will begin a countdown. The amount of seconds this countdown will last is randomly chosen between 25 seconds and 42 seconds. During this countdown, jesters will always target pretty much the closest player, once they're four meters away from the targeted player, they will stop moving, but this has no effect on their countdown. Once the jester has targeted a player to follow, it will not retarget unless that player leaves the facility. If all players leave the facility, the jester will wander around, but this has no effect on its countdown. Just to clarify, once this countdown has started, there's no stopping it. There is also no way of telling how long this countdown will last. If you try to stun or zap a jester, they will enter their cranking phase as soon as the effect wears off. As soon as the countdown is up, the jester will enter its cranking phase. As soon as this phase is triggered, another countdown will begin, but this time it's randomly selected between 35 seconds and 40 seconds. Just like phase 2, there's no way of stopping this countdown and there's no way of telling how long it will last. If you zap or stun a jester while it's counting down, this will pause the timer for the duration of the effect. During this countdown, the jester will be standing completely still, playing a jack-in-the-box tune while cranking its handle. You cannot walk through a jester, so you want to be sure it doesn't start this phase in a doorway, because if it does, you will not be able to get through. As the jester gets further and further along this countdown, its pop goes the weasel too will get faster and faster. If no players are in the facility when the jester finishes cranking, then it will immediately go back into phase one. But if there's at least one player inside, then the jester will enter its final phase. 
Huge shout out to CH Boo for my Discord for helping me go through the source code for Jesters. His links are down in the description. He also told me to tell you that if you haven't already subscribed, you should. Once a Jester is in Phase 4, it knows where all players are and will target the closest player. Once a Jester has picked its target, it will begin walking towards that player, very quickly ramping up speed by the second. After a few seconds, you will not be able to outrun the Jester, even at a full sprint. In this phase, you can hear the Jester stomping. It's pretty loud, and of course, the closer it gets to you, the louder the footsteps will be. You cannot zap a Jester while it's in this phase, but if you stun it, this will freeze it for about 4 seconds and reset its speed. Closing doors will stall the Jester for about 4 seconds, but they will still be ramping up speed, so as soon as the door opens, they will be moving much faster. Once a Jester has got close enough to its targeted player, it will grab it with its mouth, go into a 4 second killing animation, and then go after the next closest player no matter how far they are. The only way to get a Jester out of this phase is to have every player leave the facility, the moment the last player leaves the facility, the Jester will immediately go into phase 1 so you can walk right back in. A great strategy is to lure the Jester to an area you're not going to go. As soon as he pops out, leave the facility, come back in, and then run a different direction before he spots you. Jesters are indestructible. Hitting them or shooting them has no effect no matter what phase they're in. Because of this, the best way of dealing with them is by locking them behind a pressure door. If you're interested in being part of future videos, join my Discord, first link in the description, and if you've modded Lethal Company, please send me a DM if you're interested in being a part of future projects.